In today's show, we're gonna be discussing Google's quantum computer, Sycamore, which some allege is capable of mining the final three million Bitcoin in as little as two seconds. You heard me correct. What would normally take 121 years to accomplish, this supercomputer has the power to do in two seconds. What's the likelihood of this happening? Is it even possible? We'll be discussing this in today's show. We'll also be taking a look at what Vitalik has to weigh in on the situation. And also in today's episode, we'll be discussing the Bitcoin price suddenly plummeting to 7,500, which is a new five month low, as well as sharing with you a Bitcoin price analysis, talking about a potential bottom for Bitcoin of $1,000. We'll be discussing this and so much more in today's show. Here at Crypto News Alerts, I drop a brand new episode every day. So be sure to smash that subscribe button and click the bell icon to receive notifications of the latest crypto news. And to celebrate the launch of our podcast, our sponsor, CMDX, the fastest growing health rewards cryptocurrency in the world is giving away $25 worth of CMDX tokens absolutely free. For full details, be sure to check out the link right below this video in the description. Welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. I'm your host, JV, and now let's talk about the one computer to rule them all. Three million Bitcoin in two seconds? Let's talk about it. Less than three million Bitcoin remain to be mined with the process expected to take around 121 years. Some allege, however, that Google's quantum computer Sycamore could do it in less than two seconds. But is it really possible? Despite having the most difficult network to mine, Bitcoin could have met its match in the face of Google's quantum processor, Sycamore. According to one Medium post, the device has enough computational power to mine all the remaining Bitcoin in less than two seconds. A back-of-the-envelope calculation in the Medium blog shows how the production of 10-minute blocks was calculated for the raw power of Sycamore. The estimation suggested that the quantum computer could mine all remaining 3 million Bitcoin in the blink of an eye. While this might be true, it is highly unlikely that Google will use a fragile device still operating in laboratory conditions. Still, the power of quantum computing is so fast that it can outcompete all current miners with an astronomically faster rate. So this is kind of scary for cryptography. What are your thoughts in the comments below? There are, however, a couple errors in the author's estimation. He calculated that one Bitcoin is produced every 10 minutes, when in reality, there are 12.5 Bitcoins generated in each block. This would complicate the calculation somewhat. Of course, no one has tested whether such a difficulty level would be possible, but simply putting a very powerful computer on the network would not be as seamless as one might expect. And then there would be an issue of actually propagating all these blocks. A quantum computer would likely be too fast to actually include transactions in those blocks. Recently, Vitalik also mentioned that Google's quantum computer is not really a threat to crypto coins. He stated the device is just a proof of concept and will not threaten the current encryption technology. Let's check out Vitalik's tweet over on Twitter. My one sentence impression of recent quantum supremacy stuff so far is that it is too real quantum computing what hydrogen bombs are to nuclear fusion, proof that a phenomenon and the capability to extract power from it exists, but still far from directed use towards useful things. But there is one opportunity for quantum computing. Touching the Bitcoin network would almost certainly be a touch of death, even if a quantum computer mined merely 2016 blocks. In theory, this would raise the difficulty so high that regular mining equipment would take an impossibly long time to create another 2016 blocks and reduce difficulty. In a recent Q&A, Andreas Antronopoulos also addressed the concerns of Google's new quantum process on the crypto mining industry, stating that the potentially damaging application of Sycamore does not just apply to Bitcoin system, but to every system in the world. Here's what Andreas had to say. The problem isn't really Bitcoin. If we get quantum computers that can do thousands of quid bits without a correction and consistent results, we have a much bigger problem. The bigger problem we have is that the entire world's classified
classified communications, confidential communications, financial systems, etc., all depend on cryptography today. We would need to update all of that to make it quantum resistant. And his advice for everyone, keep calm and carry on. So what are your thoughts behind Google Sycamore and quantum computing? Do you think potentially one day it can freeze and crash the Bitcoin network? I would love to know your thoughts in the comments right down below. And in other crypto news, the Bitcoin price suddenly plummets to 7,500, which is a new five-month low. Let's take a look at the overall cryptocurrency market. It had a nice little pump in the past hour. Bitcoin is now up 2.27%, trading at $7,626. But let's not forget, it just took a $500 dump just yesterday. Ethereum is up 2.46%, trading at $165. XRP is up 3.93%, trading at $0.28. Cents. BNB coin is in the deep forest green, up 6.83%, trading at $17.84. Miss Litecoin is up 3.2% trading at $50.92. Bitcoin Satoshi Vision up 16% trading at $115. As you can see, most of the major cryptos are in the green. So what caused the Bitcoin price to drop so abruptly from $79.50 to $74.50 in just five minutes? The reasons for the dip are yet to become clear, but the volatility upends the most recent period of flat performance for Bitcoin. The move may have been preempted as Cointelegraph reported on Tuesday. Bitcoin saw a rejection at $8,300 after attempting to push higher, temporarily returning to the 7,000s before a rebound. The level at which Bitcoin bounced firmly tied in with the predicted support at the 200-day moving average. Cointelegraph contributor Michael Van Der Pope had previously estimated the $7,400 level would catch further downside. So Bitcoin can continue dropping from here. Now let's take a look at this Bitcoin price analysis, which suggests Bitcoin may find a new bottom at $1,000, which would be very scary for the crypto market if this came true. Bitcoin failed to set a higher high and break above its previous all-time high, signaling that the bear market isn't yet over. A massive descending triangle marked the peak of the 2019 rally. Now analyst Akira Max says that after an impeding death cross, Bitcoin could drop to as low as $1,000. 2019 has been a confusing year for cryptocurrency investors. The year started off at the most extreme lows the bear market had to offer, yet within months, Bitcoin's price skyrocketed and went on a parabolic rally, nearly revisiting its previous all-time high of 20000 I think we went up as high as about the $13,000 mark, but the parabolic advance was stopped short by the final resistance before Bitcoin could attempt to set a new high and was rejected with the force around $14,000. Following the rejection, the Bitcoin price began to consolidate as the market decided which direction it wanted to take next. The resulting consolidation formed a descending triangle chart pattern, a formation that is heavily bearish and typically breaks to the downside. And that's exactly what happened this past September when Bitcoin broke down from the pattern and immediately dropped $2,000 within 48 hours. The drop caused Bitcoin to fall below the 200-day moving average, dragging down the 50-day moving average average along with it and setting the stage for the potential death cross, as you can see right here in this graph. A death cross occurs when a short-term moving average, such as the 50-day moving average, crosses below the long-term moving average, such as the 200-day moving average, and signals to investors that the asset can fall into a deep downtrend. And that's where we're currently at, and that's what we're looking at. If the Bitcoin price cannot bounce back to recent highs in a matter of the next few days, the death cross will occur and a downward spiral may ensue. Bitcoin bottom isn't in, retraced to 1,000 imminent after the 2018 bear market. Crypto investors and traders were able to breathe a sigh of relief after Bitcoin set its bottom at around 3,000. However, that low may not have been the bottom of the bear market and the entire 2019 parabolic rally may have been nothing more than a bounce and bear market rally before even deeper downside into the crypto asset occurs. And taking a look at this tweet from crypto analyst Akira Max, here's what he had to say. What do you think of this case when it breaks the $8,800 level? And I'm going to be sure to include this in the show notes right down below this video in the description so you can check it out for yourself and visit him over on Twitter. We're gonna view this chart right here. And as you can see, the descending triangle and we can see a bounce as low as he shows here on the graph at $1,282. What are your thoughts? Do you think 
think Bitcoin is that bearish where we may see a new all-time low for the year. Personally, I don't think this is probable to happen, but it's definitely a possibility which may potentially play out. The current cryptocurrency market cap is 209 billion with 60 billion in volume in the past 24 hours and the current Bitcoin dominance is 65.6%. And taking a look at the top 50 gainers for the day, we have NOAA up 89% for the day. We have XRC trading at $8.22 up 56% for the day. We have M Cash up 76%, MTC up 61%, HOT Hot up 216%. Holy moly. PPT up 42% trading at 48 cents. And as you can see, there's plenty of gainers in the crypto market today. And the sentiment at the current moment, even though we had a very bearish previous 48 hours, I'd say right now, things are looking bullish. And if we take a look at the biggest losers, the top 50 losers for the day, DDK down 34%, ADK down 39%, uh, BAAS down 26%, AT down 48%, Flash down 25%, ZCL down 46%, NBOT down 32%, Steep down 48%, and the list goes on. And taking a look at the current BitMEX margins, we can see the bulls are currently in control, dominating with about 87 million in superiority with longs leading the way at 52.47% versus 47.53% shorts. Are you bullish or bearish on Bitcoin? Let me know your thoughts right down below this video. Well, that's gonna conclude today's show. As always, I appreciate you tuning in. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click the bell icon to receive receive notifications of the latest premium crypto news. And before I go, I want to give a special thanks to our sponsor, CMDX, the fastest growing health rewards cryptocurrency in the world. To celebrate the launch of our podcast, they're giving away $25 worth of CMDX tokens absolutely free. For full details, click the link right below this video in the description and claim your free cryptocurrency. I look forward to seeing you on tomorrow's show. Peace.